Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's dive deep into this reading to see the messages that you need to know right now. So the first card that is here for you, the divine is saying it is important for you to start looking forward. It is important for you to be really concise and be very considerate about the steps that you're taking, about the action that you're taking. Because the divine is saying that there is a forward movement energy that is here. And it is important for you to understand that things are going to start working in your favor. We have the energies of the 8th. And the 8th of May, we have a new supermoon that is going to be happening. So there's a synchronicity when it comes to the energies of the number 8. Number 8 is connected to infinity. It is connected to abundance type of energy. But the divine is saying to you to receive your golden opportunities, to enter into a golden new chapter. It is important for you to understand that you have to be proactive. You have to take the steps that are needed because there's a lot of blessings that are going to be happening for you in the month of May. The next card that we have, like we already spoke about, the divine is saying that there is just this portal. It literally feels like you're entering a new timeline, a new timeline that is going to be feeling peaceful, that is going to be feeling blissful. Divine is saying to you, I want you to understand that you have divine presence around you. You have divine energies around you. So it is important for you to start being creative. It is important for you to understand that you, Capricorn, are the force of love. And you're also the force of creation. Because we have that master number 44 that is there. And it is interesting to see that we have another number 8. So the powerful energies of number 8, infinity, is definitely working for you. So in the comment section below, comment 888. Why triple 8? Because like I said, on the 8th, we have our super new moon that is going to be happening. You know by now that the new moons are all about setting our intention. And because this is a super moon, the energies, the results are going to be amplified. And not only that, this super new moon is going to be in the sign of Taurus. Taurus is about our resources. Taurus is about abundance. Taurus is about the things that we care about, money. So this is going to be the perfect today to do your candle magic ceremonies, to do your prayers, to connect with that abundant type of energy. And of course, I always invite you to come and be part of the candle magic ceremonies. And the candle magic ceremony that I'm going to be doing is going to be on the 8th of May, where we are setting and planting our seeds of intention, where we are working with this energies of the super moon. And the energies are going to be felt over a long period of time. So if you're wanting to be part of the new moon, super moon ceremony, go in the description box below, reserve your space and remember to write your petition about what it is that you're wanting to pray for, what it is that you're wanting to manifest in your life. And me, my guides, my ancestors will be really excited to work with you. Okay, so the next message that we have, the divine is saying, it is important to understand that as you are doing your manifestations, as you are doing your prayers, so that the money, remember we just spoke about the energies of Taurus and working with the energies of Taurus and abundance, so that the abundance, the money start coming in. But you need to understand that you amplify these energies through that heartfelt gratitude, being thankful, being grateful for what it is that you're wanting to come into your life. And showing the energy of appreciation. So the divine is wanting you to really understand that as you're doing your candle magic ceremonies yourself, as you're planting your seeds of intentions connected to what it is that you're wanting to come into your life, it is always important to fuse the energy of appreciation and gratitude because the results that come in, come in faster. So the divine is saying to you, it is important to understand these energies because for things for you to have, for things to happen for you in an easier way, it is always important to understand that gratitude is a high vibrating energy. And when you work with the energies of gratitude and appreciation, things happen for you a lot easier. So I really like that we have that energy that is there because we are talking about manifestation, right? We're talking about taking action, looking forward, 
being considerate of the steps that we're taking, being really conscious of the action that we're taking. So the divine is saying, as you are conscious of the action of the steps that you're taking, it is important for you to remember to show gratitude. It is important for you to remember to show appreciation and being thankful when you're in prayer. Be thankful for everything that you already have. Don't forget the things that you already have. Show appreciation for them and show gratitude for the things that you're coming in, for the things that you're calling into your life. So let's have a look to see what our tarot cards have to say, okay? So as I'm looking at our tarot cards, I'm just looking over the energies that are here. We've got this beautiful energy of abundance. I really like the golden colors that are here. I love the golden colors that are there. I love the gold, the gold coins that are here. So there is just this energy that is here where some of you are going to be seeing some confirmation. You're going to be seeing butterflies around you. And the butterflies are going to be confirming that everything that you're praying for is coming true. And they are going to be reminding you to be grateful, to be in the energy of appreciation. So I want you to promise yourself that every time you see a butterfly, you just say thank you, thank you, thank you to the divine. Thank you for everything that I already have. And thank you for everything that I'm walking into Okay, because like I said, you're going to be seeing that things will happen for you a lot easier. All right, so let's get some more tarot cards to see what is happening for you, Capricorn. Capricorn, I want to take this time to show gratitude for you, to say thank you for watching my videos, to say thank you for subscribing to the channel, to say thank you for all the support you show for this channel all the time. Sometimes I don't say so because I'm not the person who really is good at verbalizing those types of things. I'm more of the person who's in my mind. So as I'm doing my readings, I'm in the energy of gratitude already because before we start our readings, I always take time to cleanse the energies. I always take time to say thank you to the divine. I always take time to pray for everyone who sees my videos. I always take time to send love. To everyone who's here in this space with me. So sometimes I don't say it out loud. Because I've already taken time to say my prayers. To be in the energy of gratitude. To be in the energy of love. To ask the divine to use me as a mouthpiece. To be able to deliver the right words that people need to hear. That the listeners are needing to hear. So that they get activated and motivated to take the action that they need so that they can receive everything that they want. Because you know that by now that to receive, you must take action. Because everything in life is about a two-way energy. You give to receive, okay? There's male energies, there's female energies, there's light, there's day. So you need to understand that there's always like all these energies that work hand in hand together. So... Like I was saying, I want to say thank you for everything that you do for this channel. It doesn't go unnoticed, okay? So that we've cleansed the energies a bit more and I've told you what happens behind the scenes. Let's get back to the reading, okay? So Capricorn, you've received interesting cards here. First of all, you've received the energies of the Ace of Wands. New beginnings connected to your passion. Isn't that what our first oracle card was already saying to you? So for some of you, there are chains that you're going to be breaking. You are going to be setting yourself free. Free from all the challenges, blockages, obstacles that you've been experiencing. You're starting to look forward with joy, with anticipation, because you know that through anticipation, lifting up your vibration, being in the attitude of gratitude is what brings new energies, new blessings towards you. So I feel that for you, divine is saying to you that indeed there are going to be some new beginnings. Indeed, blockages, chains are going to be breaking. You are going to feel so excited, so passionate. And the fire that is raging within your heart, your soul, your mind, your subconscious mind as well. 
is going to be leading to this energy that is here. It's like a sun is shining bright. It is like a portal is literally transporting you into a new experience. And look at the new experience that is here. So again, there's like a portal that is here through your mind. You're starting to access dif different realities. You're starting to feel what it feels like to reside in this type of energy that is here in divine presence. And as you start feeling that, you start entering that state of gratitude. You start lifting your energies and start vibrating at a higher level at that energy of the number nine and rather the number eight. The number nine is all about completing. So some of you, you are completing a cycle. You are breaking the bondages. You are freeing yourself from that prison, from that mental prison that has kept you stuck for a long time. And you're entering the energies of the number eight because you're now remembering and realizing and understanding that as within, so without. So whatever is going on in your mind, in your subconscious mind, you are experiencing in your reality. And as you're starting to understand this, you're starting to break those chains and you're starting to understand that divine presence is around you as endings are going to be happening in your life. So as you're breaking the chains, the divine is saying something is ending, something is completing because out of the blue, number nine just came out of my mouth and I was like, why number nine when I meant number eight? Then I realized and remembered that I prayed to be the mouthpiece for the divine. So divine wanted to say number nine, wanted to bring the energies of the number nine to your reality. And the number nine is about completing a cycle. So for some of you, you are completing cycles. You're breaking the bondages. You are starting to enter into a new reality. And this is being emphasized by the tower card. The tower card is the number seven. So this happens before the number eight can be activated. So can you see that there are synchronicities that I hear? Number seven is saying to you that remember lucky number seven. But sometimes when we're speaking about lucky number seven and we think of the tower card, it seems like these are polar opposites energy. And remember what I told you, sometimes it is polar and opposite energies that work together and bring forth a new reality. So yes, lucky number seven is here. Luck is going to be walking with you as you are experiencing endings. Have you noticed another synchronicities? I'm going to carry on talking and I hope that you remember the synchronicity and I hope that some of you already have noticed the synchronicity that we are going to be speaking about in a moment. So the divine is saying luck is going to be walking with you as endings are going to be happening because remember the endings from the tower card are about liberation and what is the energies of the ace of wands? The Ace of Wands is wanting to liberate you. The fire energy is playing a significant role again because here you can see that the tower is being hit, is being struck by lightning. What is lightning? It's fire. It's that fire element that comes down from heaven and just finishes a cycle so that we can enter into a new experience. Are you understanding what I'm trying to say to you? If you are, Comment in the comment section, the light bulb emoji, because the divine is saying it's going to feel electrifying as you are being released from that mental prison. It's going to feel electrifying as you are walking and entering into a new reality. Are you noticing something about these two cards? The tower card was elaborating on the divine presence card and so as i bring these two cards together i invite you to start using your own wisdom to start using your own spiritual eyes so you can see what is here i've turned down the light so that you can observe the messages as they're coming through me so the message that is here Divine is saying that you have divine presence that is around you, that is going to be freeing you from this reality. Can you see the light that is here? Can you see the synchronicity? Because the light is here as well. 
So our tarot cards and oracle cards are bringing you the same message. They are telling you that you are going to be entering into a new portal and this portal is going to be activated by the tower card, by some type of ending. So the divine is saying that again, we have progress. You are taking action. You have the number seven that is here. You have the number eight that is here. So there is a progress. As you're leaving number seven, holding Lady Luck's hand, you are entering into the portal that is here. That brings you into a new timeline, into a new experience. And as you're leaving maybe painful situations behind, you are going to be entering beautiful, exquisite experiences on the other side. So the divine is saying, Capricorn, what are you afraid of? Save this reading, okay? And listen to it every time you feel fearful, every time you feel doubtful, every time something abruptly happens and ends. Listen to this reading so you feel inspired and you remember that whatever endings are being brought about, they are here to liberate you from that imprisonment that we spoke about. They are here to release the blockages that you have been experiencing and they are here to usher you into a new timeline. You're being purified by that energy of fire. You have that ace, that new beginning that is saying to you, yes, there are endings, but with an ending, a new beginning is born. Again, polar energies working together, vibing together, understanding that one cannot be without the other. Okay, so the divine is saying to you that again, yes, there are endings, but the endings are leading to a beautiful new chapter where you are now the force of creation, creating whatever it is that you want through love because now you are high vibrating. Love is everything. Love is always the foundation for anything that we're wanting to create. So when you love on your neighbors, when you love on the people who bring you hurt, who bring you challenges, your understanding that when it's all said and done, we are one. So the people who bring you challenges, the people who bring you hate, in a way, they're actually helping you ascend. They're actually helping you assist. They're actually assisting you as you're going through that purification journey. Because after a while, you start looking at the people that hate you, that want to see your downfall, as the people who are actually assisting you because you look at them and you feel pity for them. Because there's never anyone in this world who is successful, who is thriving, who is doing better than you. Who will wish you hate, who want to see your downfall. Someone who's doing better than you, who always want to assist you. Okay, so the divine is saying to you, if you notice the synchronicity on this journey, I'm going to put the light back up. So that you can see what I am talking about. So the journey, the synchronicity is here. We spoke about the Taurus new moon. The super moon that is here. And we spoke about how it is connected to money. Okay. How it is connected to our stability. And we spoke about you promising that every time you see a butterfly, you are going to step into the energy of being grateful. You are going to step in the energy of appreciation. And did you notice that in our oracle cards, we had the butterfly. And the same butterfly is also in our tarot cards. Did you notice the synchronicity? So now that you are seeing a butterfly, are you moving and stepping into the energy of gratitude? Are you taking this moment to show divine appreciation? That so for deep appreciation because you're understanding the journey. You're understanding how I read tarot cards. I really look at the symbols. I really look at what is coming up. I really look at everything and try and give you a personal reading as you are listening to my readings. Because you are an aspect of me. So in motivating you, in assisting you, 
I am motivating and assisting myself because we are one through love, right? So the divine is emphasizing to you again, okay? This month, next month, over the rest of the year, whenever you are seeing a butterfly, especially this butterfly specifically, this is the divine reminder to remind you that yes, sometimes life is challenging, but whatever challenges that we are experiencing, there is a portal, there is a new timeline, there is a new experience that is waiting to shift us, that is waiting to take us into a new reality because divine is always present, always, okay? So right now you might be going through some challenges. Right now you might be going some, through some type of pain. Right now you might be going through betrayal. Right now you might be going through people gossiping, hating, whatever is happening. Divine is saying, I am always present. And the challenge for you is to send love towards whoever it is that is hurting you. Whoever it is that is working against you. Because you're understanding that they are where they are. And that's okay. And they cannot touch you if you lift up your vibration, okay? Because you're understanding that we have to work together and we are opposites and that's okay. Sometimes people who are below us vibrationally, they actually help us by sending challenges, sending hate, doing whatever it is that they need to do. And through us not allowing their energy to touch us, by us being at a higher vibrational frequency, we know that their hate cannot touch us. We know that we return to sender that negative energy because we are vibrating high. So the divine is saying, accept the opposites that exist in this life and be okay with that. Because in doing so, you actually start shifting and life becomes a lot easier to understand. Because sometimes bad things happen and you wonder why. And the divine is saying it is just part of the journey. It is part of growth. And for some of us, it is part of our soul contracts. We agreed to experience painful things, painful situations, and it's okay. Because through that experience, we release karma and we end karmic cycles. So indeed, there are some karmic cycles that are going to be ending and I truly hope that you are understanding this tarot reading. I really try to make it as personal as possible so that you can grow, so that you can understand whatever challenges that you're experiencing, whatever endings that are there, that the divine is around you. Divine presence is around you. And when it feels a bit heavy, when it feels too much, call upon the divine, call upon your guides, call upon your ancestors and ask for the assistance that you need. But without without experiencing challenges we're not able to grow okay so go through whatever it is that you're currently going through because you're going to be seeing that you're going to be entering a new timeline a new experience and you are going to be seeing that things will finally start balancing themselves out okay so promise that the whole of this year whenever you're seeing this butterfly you remind yourself to show divine your gratitude. You remind yourself to step in that energy of being really soulful. That soulful appreciation is different than just saying, thank you divine for everything that I had. This is like us diving deeper. And the deeper we go, the more we see that our blessings start coming in. So you're going to be seeing blessings coming in when it comes to your money, your wealth, your health. You're going to be seeing things starting to balance themselves in your life and you're going to be seeing a lot of blessings coming in you're going to be seeing you uh, people who are wanting to walk with you bless you wanting to uplift you and you're going to want to do the same for them so this is the powerful reading that the divine really wanted to throw down for you capricorn all right so whatever it is that you're going through please let me know please please pretty please let me know in the comment section below what you thought about this reading okay and like i said for you the month of may is going to be one of the most powerful and beautiful months in 2024 
especially when it comes to our money, especially when it comes to our resources. So whether you are working with me on that supermoon on the 8th of May, or whether you are doing your own rituals, please use this energy. Do not let this energy slip away without you harnessing them, without you taking opportunities to plant your seeds of intentions, because you're going to be seeing that this powerful energy will start working in your favor. Okay, so for those of you who are doing our quantum leap ritual, let's go over to that section of this reading and let's go and do some magic now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023 and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multi-millionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025 we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind and on the other side, have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands, encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist, and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are 
going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory. So we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the nine of cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation because remember by giving you open up your hands to receiving. Ashe.